Well, the storm beheaded a symbolic Cosair for Kids statue. You see it right there. WDRB's Molly Jett found out why it won't slow down their mission. I'm here on Gardner Lane at Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and if you look over here, this is all that is left of a statue that was standing here for more than 14 years. It represented kids throughout Kentuckiana that needed a little bit of extra help from Cosair for Kids. We're 100 years old this year. Uh, we've been helping kids for uh, a century now. The organization helps children live life to the fullest with the help of long lasting partnerships. Special partnerships gifting at least a million dollars receive a statue or what the nonprofit calls its silent messenger. They indicate this is where kids get help. So when Wednesday's storm knocked the head off of one of the silent messengers to Barry Dunn, it was a bit symbolic. Sometimes the kids that we help fall down too, and sometimes they experience adversity. And what the community needs to know is whether it's the statue that fell yesterday or the kids that we helped, we're going to lift them back up and make them just as good as new. As the story goes, the silent messenger came to life in 1970 when a photographer snapped a picture of a Shriner who picked up a five-year-old girl who was having trouble using her crutches on a gravel parking lot. That girl had cerebral palsy. My first interaction as a dad with Cozair for Kids was in January 2013 when I learned that my son Connor had cerebral palsy. And uh, that was a hard day. Cozair for Kids helped Dunn's family with medical expenses. Did well in school and had a great job and all that. Connor is 11 and the impact of Cozair for Kids is long lasting on his family. Dunn is now the organization's president and CEO. We exist to help kids. We exist to lift them up. Cozair for Kids says they will replace the silent messenger, but even without it, their commitment to kids throughout the area remains strong. Off Gardner Lane, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.